What's up everyone, my name is Beastreak and welcome back to Sonic the Hedgehog. It's now fall! Yay, no more hot sweltering summer weather! From now on, it's gonna be cool air, long nights, and falling leaves. I love the fall. Fall is one of my favorite seasons of the year. Not just because of the cool air, the long nights, and the holidays, but it also gives you a sense of being calm. In this video, I'm going to talk about my opinions about Sonic Mania. Now, these are just going to be my opinions and my opinions alone. But if you want to talk about your opinions, you are more than welcome to leave them in the comment section below. Now, the reason why I'm just doing Sonic Mania for this video is because... Well, let's just say Labyrinth Zone here is one of the toughest zones out there. Not only do I have to make sure that Sonic keeps his rings while avoiding traps, spikes, and unsuspecting badniks, but I also have to make sure that he keeps gobbling up freaking bubbles while underwater. So yeah, most of my concentration here will be more on survival than talking to you guys. Oh! Ooh, that was too close. And seriously, Sonic can't hold his breath that long underwater. And I really hate those spiked balls. Alright then, let's talk about Sonic Mania, Sonic's 25th anniversary game. When I first saw the trailer, I was actually both surprised and impressed by it. The game looks stupendously well done. I did say in an earlier video that the game is being made by Christian Whitehead, who did the mobile versions of Sonic 1, Sonic 2, and Sonic CD. I like the reimagined Green Hill Zone look, and Studiopolis Zone looks Amazing. I heard from YouTuber Boolean Productions that Sudiopolis Zone looks a bit like a zone from Sonic CD, and I had to agree on that. Not only that, but I also heard from another source that Sudiopolis Zone was based off of the same place where the Sonic actors voiced their characters. Now there's some inspiration there. I watched some videos of the gameplay, and it looks reminiscent to the classic style of gameplay. For example, Sonic 1, Sonic 2, and Sonic 3 and Knuckles. The only differences are the drop dash and some of the sprites. For one of the sprites, it looks like a combination of Sonic Super Peel Out along with an unused sprite from Sonic 2. As for the drop dash, it replaced the Insta Shield from Sonic 3 and Knuckles, and it looks quite interesting. Not only that, but the elemental shields and special zones from Sonic 3 and Knuckles are returning as well. Well, technically not the special zones themselves, more likely the giant rings that lead to the special zones are returning. I don't know what kind of special zones we'll see in Sonic Mania, but we'll find out later. Ooh. Not only that, but you can also play as Tails and Knuckles. Now, here are a couple of my theories for Sonic Mania. I bet some of you have some of the same theories. I mean, one theory could be that Tails and Knuckles could be unlockable if you play the game long enough. But some people are speculating if Sonic Mania is just a com remake of, of the first three games. But another theory could be that Sonic Mania could just be a sequel to Sonic 3 and Knuckles, and a prequel to Sonic the Hedgehog 4. I mean, the game could just start out with Sonic revisiting Green Hill Zone, until he learns that Eggman has attacked another island nearby. And realizing that he needs help, Sonic recruits Tails and Knuckles to help defeat the Mad Doctor. Actually, that makes a bit more sense. I recently heard that Tadashiki Izuku confirmed that there will be more classic levels than new ones, so I guess a bit more nostalgia won't hurt a bit. Ooh. Oh boy. Yeah. I also heard from Christian Whitehead in an update that Sonic Mania is a big game. I mean, even bigger than Sonic Generations. So, I guess Sonic Mania is like Sonic Generations, except 
with... Well, there will be returning zones, but probably new zones, which are similar to old ones. Almost like Sonic the Hedgehog 4. Oh! I didn't... I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have hit that spike. Christian Whitehead also said that Sonic Team wanted to celebrate the classic levels... I mean, Sonic... the classic games in a new and exciting way. So... I guess there'll be more surprises that we will see in the future for Sonic Mania. I mean, I don't know. If you want to talk about your opinions about Sonic Mania and your own theories, you can leave them in the comment section below. Okay then. Whoa! I don't know what the ancients were thinking about putting flamethrowers in Labyrinth Zone. I mean, what were they thinking? Like, hmm, what? Besides the, the spikes, the hidden, hidden spears, why can't we put flamethrowers in there? Yeah, so that's a good idea. There's no way that labyrinth, our labyrinth zone will be filled up with water. At least there's no minotaur here. Whoa. I bet those crystals have been there over time. I mean, after labyrinth zone had been filled up with water. And also those oh, vines. Oh crap! Orbanaut, Orbanaut, Orbanaut! What happened to your own? Oh, I meant to hit you! Stupid bubble was there! I meant to get the bubble after I defeated you. I hate those Orbanauts. Ugh. Oh, not again! Duck! Duck and cover! Am I good? Oh! Bubbles! Hey! Come back here! Whoo! That was too close. Yep, give me some rings. If you have any, if you had any trouble with Labyrinth Zone as well, tell me what your biggest problem was in the comment section below. Ah. Okay, rings, rings, rings. Oh, what? I didn't mean to do that. I meant to jump. There we go. What? Okay, I didn't see that. Oh boy. <sighs> okay then, one more act to go and I'm done with this hard zone. Oh no, not these drill guys again! I hate these drill guys! At least you see the tip of their nose. I mean... At least they're not carrot noses. Actually, if they were carrot noses then... Oh, what? Stupid waterfall. Okay. Oh, oh, that was that was bad timing. Okay. And boom. Get my momentum going. There we go. Sometimes that. Oh crap! Not another. Whoa, that was too close. Ah. I really hate those spike balls and those spears. Yeah. Always have to wait for the right timing to avoid them. Ooh. Okay. Bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. Let me gobble you up so I can move on. And don't let my butt be hit by the spikes. Ah! Ooh. That was a close one. Or else I will have lost my temporary shield there. Yep. Take one gobble before moving on. Whee! Current! Spikies! Oh! Okay, there we go. Oh! Bubbles! Come on! Bubbles! That was a close one. I always hate it every time I hear that. I mean, it makes you more frantic and more desperate to get more bubbles. At least there aren't any bad nicks here. Oh no. No, no, no. Whose idea was that to put the switch there? Have to. Oh, there we go. Well, that was easy. Okay, just get another. Oh, come on! No, no. Oh, come on! Come on! Come on! Okay, as I was saying, I was going to get another bubble before moving on. Oh, there's one right there. An ah, orbit on. Oh, okay. 
No! Oh, come on! Thanks a lot for losing my temporary shield there. Okay. Not you guys! Well, yeah. I'm just gonna leave you behind. At least this switch is a lot easier to get. Oh, oh waterfall! Oh, come on! Get up there! There we go. Oh, what, what was that? I meant to jump there. There we go. Ah! Ooh, that was the... Uh-oh. Man, that was a close one. Okay. We're still going? Okay. I think we're nearing our destination. Oh, sign nor are you. Drill nose. Oh good, another temporary shield. Man, there are a lot of vines here. There you are, Robotnik. Hey, come back here, you coward! Ah! Flamethrowers! Oh no, not not now! Not no spears! I always hate the timing of these! Oh, crap. Oh, oh, what? What was that? Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Oh, crap, oh, crap. Ah! Okay. Oh, oh, no, no, no! No! Oh, no! Oh, no! This is not good. Not good, not good, not good. Oh, crap, no, not now! Oh! Bubbles! I hate those! Darn, wait, flowers! Oh, dang it! Ah! Crap! Dang it! Dang it! Dang it! Well, at least I'm here. Oh no! Oh no! I'm I have no rings. This is not good. Not good. Okay. At least I can get rid of these guys for now. Okay. Just let me get higher. Okay. Thank you. Make sure I don't die while getting robotic. Always have to do with the stupid timing. I hate that. Well, always Sonic ha definitely has to be patient for those. Okay, let's try this again. I hate those flamethrowers. Oh, not now! Too soon! That's too soon! Ooh. Too close. Uh oh. I hate that hidden one. I remember the many times I've died there. No! That was bad timing. That was bad timing. Ugh. Okay. Let me see if I can get back to that part. Oh no! Whoops! That was my bad. Oh, hey, water, come down, please. Water, come down. Water, come down. Water, come down. Okay, let me stay here. Why aren't you going down? Water! Water! Water, 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 water! Water, go down! What are you doing? Please! Oh, yes, yes, please go down. Yes, thank you. Okay, now just let me hop onto the sponges and let me hop my way to safety. Or should I say jump, spin jump my way to safety? Okay. That's more like it. Eh, not gonna bother with you. Almost there. I'm not gonna bother with you either. I'm just gonna get up there. Get my temporary shield. And go after your robotnik. Ooh. I wonder if you had any trouble getting through this part of Labyrinth Zone. Okay, that's more like it. Woo! That's too close. Timing. Always with the timing. Yay! Oh! Okay. No! Ah! Oh, good, 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 good. Yes! I'm out! Okay. Eh. I thought I was gonna hit one more hit on him. Okay then. That was a bit stressful. Okay, that's all the time I have for today. So thank you everyone so much for watching. I'm going to continue my opinions about Sonic Boom, Fire, and Ice, and Sonic and Lego Dimensions in the next video. 
And if you like this video, you can click like, leave a comment about it, and share it with a friend. So thank you everyone so much for watching. And I will see you next time. Speed Streak out.